welcome back James here again with you and today I'm going to be heading out to some private property for a late evening squirrel hunt with the information that I got this past week gentleman behind the gun counter at my local rural king here in town I had a really good conversation with and he asked you know if I hunt or whatever and we started talking about 22 LR and long story short I said yeah I, I dabbled into 22 LR rifles and st such and you know I mess with the barrels by tuning them and adding weight and all this and that and he goes really I said yeah he goes well my grandpa back in the uh, depression did something similar I'm like kind of threw me off guard I'm like what do you mean like something similar he goes well you know obviously back then food and ammo was scarce he said you know they obviously had to take the shot and make it count and I said yeah that makes sense he goes, so my grandpa told me that back then, to make the best shot, he would take a cloth bag and fill it up with rocks and tie it to the end of his barrel when he was aiming up in the trees to shoot the squirrels. And he figured out that with that bag on the end of the barrel, it helped balance the gun out when he was aiming up to shoot the squirrels. And he also mentioned that when he was shooting the squirrels, he would take body shots at close range and take head shots farther away because the bullets were going so fast that at the angle they were shooting at, at an upward angle, more times than not, the bullet would just bounce off the squirrel's head. And now I didn't believe it at first. I kind of was like, what do you mean bounce off? And my recent 22 LR testing, a lot of you know, where I've captured the bullets in the water tank and all that in the holding tank, I have seen the bullet hit water at that muzzle velocity and bend the bullet. So I could see where that comes into play. And I could also see that with the hard, you know, contact or impact, it could just skim right off the top of, of whatever you're aiming at. So I get that part of it. And what he also meant about balancing the gun out when you added weight to the end of the muzzle, it pulled the gun barrel down for him so when he was shooting, you know, it would, sh it would make the shot better instead of overshooting the squirrel, which he was talking about basically the rifleman rule. I guess he didn't know the actual word for it, but it's the rifleman rule where you aim up in the air and you, you would overshoot if you were sighted in at 25 yards and you were aiming up at an angle at 25 yards, your bullet would overshoot the target. So anyways, with that newfound information, I'm gonna be set up out here at this private spot that I hunt, and we're gonna try it out. And I did it some testing at home, shooting up in an angle and hitting hickory nuts back to back. So instead of using a cloth bag full of rocks, I got a new method here and let it dangle free off the barrel, off the muzzle. Here's the weight attached to the muzzle of the barrel. Here's my shooting stick. Nailed it. Woo! And we're going higher. Nailed it. Definitely leveled out the gun and helped with the steadiness on this DIY shooting stick at that angle. Woo! So we're gonna test that out and see how stable it is. And I brought my own DIY shooting stick. So I'll get definitely some good shots through the side shot scope cam, guys. Let me get into the woods and get all set up and we'll see you in a bit. He's hanging on barely. Just the nerves. He'll drop here in a second. Unless he's stuck. Is 
Dang it. Oh, there he goes. Well, we just got out of the squirrel woods. It took a minute to find it, but I didn't run two cameras this time because I had STKO Jr. with me today, and he was out squirrel hunting with uh, the Corral MP03 with another air rifle. So I got him into the uh, shooting realm, and he wanted to go squirrel hunting, so he went with me tonight. And now I got to get him home for uh, school. So. All I gotta say is it definitely worked. Uh, what I was told from that guy from Rural King about his grandpa, the way he shot the squirrels back in the day. And I had the weight at the end of my barrel and that had to be one of the most stillest shots I've ever taken off my shooting stick, about 25 yards. Uh, not too much of an angle, but enough to get a good shot like that. And as you've seen, uh, I nailed that squirrel. It was dead before it hit the ground. Uh, just the nerves. But anyways, I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. And again, from what I was told, you know, at such close range, closer, you know, depending on your projectile and all this and that, if it was a rimfire, I definitely would have taken a body shot. But since the squirrel's head was sticking out like that, and I know for a fact that the, the angle was perfect, uh, again, that was instant. And my gun is set up, my Air Venturi Avenger 22 right now is set up using the Crossman Premier Hollow Point 14 threes at 920 feet a second. And you guys heard the pop. Uh, it was instant for him. Uh, such a good shot. That, that was the stillest shot I've ever taken off my shooting stick standing. So I appreciate you watching as always and hope you got something out of this video. Tell them bye.